Here we are in a beautiful day in sunny California. Today we are going to do a tiki bar. It's a nice fun project for us. What we need from lumber perspective, we need some pressure treated two by fours, about seven. Normal two by four, six pieces, one inch by two inch, about six feet, 10 pieces for the roof. Tool wise, we need the miter saw. We need a power drill and a screwdriver, a jigsaw, and we need some exterior screws, uh, two and a half inch for the two by fours, and one and five eighth inch for the one by twos. Both are exterior. Let's start the project. First, I started to build the frames uh, for the side. I decided the height to be around 35 inches. Here you can see I started with cutting some pressure treated ones. Pressure treated lumber will go at the bottom and the rest 2x4s will be the normal ones. Uh, trying to attach the side panels uh, so that we can make a nice beautiful frame here. Cut the top frame a little longer than the bottom one, about a feet more, so that it can support the countertop. Here is the first finished side panel, looks good so far. I am also attaching some toes with pressure treated wood to save it from some water damage. We built two side panels and one front panel. Now I'm attaching a 2x4 8 feet high precipitated lumber to support the roof. We have four pillars to support the roof, all pressure treated 2 by 4 by 8 feet high. But I forgot to cut the top of the pillars at 30 degree angle to support the roof. And now my circular saw is in rescue. That helped me to, to cut the top of the pillars at 30 degree angle to support the roof. Now it's time to start working on the roof structure. I used one by two lumbers, each of them are six feet high. I cut them into half at a 30 degree angle with the miter saw, flipped the other one over and joined them together with the screws. That gave me a nice beautiful structure. Cover the rooftop with a plastic layer and then put the thatch on top of it secured with some screws with some mm. rings on it. These nice thatches are available in Amazon and I will put a link in the descriptions in case you need it. 
Once the roof is done, it's time to put the roof on top of the pillars and I needed some extra pair of hands to help me to put it there and I had to climb up over the roof to screw them with the pillar. And now the roof is ready. Now it's time to work on the countertop. I used some redwood fence woods. Those are one inch thick and about six feet uh, long and uh, eight inch wide. I use the jigsaw to cut them in pieces so that it can attach to the pillars nicely. They're pretty cheap ones. They come about like $4 a piece. I also rounded the corners for safety reasons as well as they will look much nicer. Used a jigsaw to cut it nice and smooth. Time to start on the wall. The bamboo fences I used have some little bit gaps between the sticks. So I decided to put an underlayment for the bamboo walls. Oh. I bought the bamboo fence from Amazon. I will put a link in the description in case you need it. First I rolled them up and cut to sizes using the miter saw. I needed to cut a little bit extra and that was easy with a hand clipper. Finally time to attach the countertop to the frame using some screws and I got some help from my son. And the project is done. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or you need any details. Thank you.